Hi everybody, my name's Erin and I'm a teacher here at Reading Eggs. I'm here today to do a live launch lesson with you for our super fun program. Now, you also have access to three other areas called Reading Express, Fast Phonics, and the Library. Today, we're going to focus on the main program for learning to read called Reading Eggs. Now, I know this might be exciting and you might want to jump ahead to explore, but please don't. If you follow along with me, you'll get to see all the different areas in the program and have lots of time to explore afterward. At this point, students, you should all have a device in front of you. That could be a Chromebook, laptop, or tablet, and your sign-in card. Your school may use a single sign-on like Clever. If that's the case, you won't need that sign-in card. Now that we're ready to go with our device and sign-in card, let's get started. I am at app.readingeggs.com slash login. You could also be on the app, which is called Reading Eggs. You can see here in the middle of the page, you can type in your username and password. I'll do that now. Now you'll see a few different buttons. We're going to click on Reading Eggs. Let's pause here and make sure everyone is signed in.
Now that we're all signed in, we can see all the different buttons on our home page. There's so much to explore. Our friend Reggie is right in the middle. Reggie's button says My Lessons, which is where we go for the main part of the program. Right now, My Lessons should also say Placement Test. I'm going to click on that. This placement test is to get to know where you should start on your learning journey. You might know a little bit about letters, sounds, and words already, or you might not know much at all. The reason we do this placement test is so you get started exactly where you should. If you don't do the test, you'll start at the very beginning of the program, which might be exactly right for you. I'm going to click on the green button on the left that says Start Placement Test. Reggie gave us a little bit of instruction, and now we click the green Start button. Now all we have to do is answer as many questions as we can. We can always repeat the audio to us by clicking on the blue audio button. Let's answer some questions now. When I do three questions incorrectly, my placement test stops. I'll show that now. Now that I'm all done my placement test, Reggie knows where I should get started. Remember that wherever you've been placed is exactly right for you. Now that you know how the placement test works, why don't you give it a try? Remember, from your home screen, click on Reggie, then click the green button that says Start Placement Test. Have fun! Pause the video now to complete the placement test.
Wow, great job doing your placement tests. Now Reggie knows exactly where you should start on your reading journey. Now let's take a look at what a lesson looks like. Let's click on our friend Reggie again. This button is called My Lessons and will take you to the map and lesson that you're working on. You can see that I am on map 7 and lesson 63. Each map has 10 lessons. Now I'm going to click on my lesson. Right away, a video or activity will begin. You can see that I start learning with fun characters right away. Today, they're teaching us about the un and ug word families. Let's look at how many activities this lesson has. When we click this arrow on the side, we can scroll through all of the activities in this one lesson. This lesson has 14 activities. These can be more videos or even songs with our animal friends or activities like the one we've just done. You've probably noticed that these activities have a lock on them. That is because you have to do each activity in order before the next one can unlock, like a puzzle. Toward the end of the lesson, you will also read a book. Then you earn a reward. A super fun character will hatch from this egg. One more very exciting thing about the lessons, you earn eggs. Every time we do an activity, we earn eggs that we can spend in the plaza and games sections. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. When you're done working on your lesson, you can click this home button. If you didn't finish the whole lesson, that's okay. Reading eggs saves your progress. So the next time you log in, you'll begin where you left off last time. Now that you know how the lessons work, why don't you give it a try? Here's what you're going to do. Click on Reggie where it says My Lessons. Click on the lesson number that you're starting on and go for it. Your teacher will tell you how long you have to work on your first lesson. Pause the video now to work on your first lesson.
Great job, everyone. Next, we're going to explore a super fun section called Story Factory, where you can write your own stories and read stories that other students around the world have written. Story Factory opens up after Lesson 10. So if you haven't finished Lesson 10, you won't be able to click on this section yet. Let's check it out. We can see Reggie sitting at the desk in the middle. Now there are two areas to choose from. On the left, we have Story Showroom. And on the right, we have Story Factory. Let's go to the Story Showroom first. Here we can see a few different things. At the bottom, we can see that it says, all these great stories are written by explorers for explorers. That means that the books on this shelf were written by students just like you. Each week, there's a story writing contest. The book on the top shelf is the winner of the last contest. The books on the next shelf are the ones we can read and rate, which helps decide the winner of the current contest. Let's try that. I click on a book on the shelf, then click the orange Read button. Let's look at this one. To read the book, we use the pink arrows. When we're done reading the book, we choose a number of stars out of five to rate the book. Did we like it a little bit or a lot? I liked this book a lot, so I'll give it five stars. Then it says, do you want to give this book five stars? You must think this story is the best. And I will click, yes, rate this book. Finally, I click the orange back arrow to go back to Reggie at the desk. Now I'll show you how to write your own story. We click on the story factory door next to Reggie. The writing across the top tells me the name of the contest this week and when it ends. If we want to write a story for this competition, we click the green button that says start a new story. This page tells us the steps to writing a story. It says, number one, choose a cover page, choose your pictures. Number two, write the name of your story. Number three, write your story. Number four, choose a design. Number five, publish your story. Number six, enter the contest. Wow, this looks fun. Let's click in the middle where it says start your story. First, I drag a picture for my cover. Then, I choose pictures for my story that has six pages. Let's do that now. When I've chosen my pictures, I click the green arrow. Now, I give my story a title. Then, I click the green arrow again. Now, I write the words for my story one page at a time. I'm just going to choose one word for each page to show you how it works. When I'm all done, I click the green arrow again. Now I choose how I want my title to look. Then I click the green arrow one last time. Now the machine makes my story. I can use the red arrow to read it. I can choose to save it and leave, save it and enter the contest, or print it to keep with me at home. I'm going to click the home button because my story was just an example. And that's the story factory. Pretty cool, right? Next, I'm going to show you the area called driving tests with a red car. The driving tests only open up after lesson 40, so you may not be quite there yet. There are three types of driving tests, each with a different color car. The red car is for sight words, words that are hard to spell, so we try to remember them. The green car is letters and sounds. The blue car is content words. Words that we use quite often, like colors and numbers. Each type has many driving tests in it, but you have to do them in order, so they unlock, just like the activities in your lessons. Let's try one. I'll choose the red car, sight words. I click the orange start button. The idea of the driving tests is that you have to answer 20 questions, and your car moves around the track. The word is read to you out loud. And if you need it repeated, you can click on the orange button that says play again. Let's do a few. You can see that for each correct answer, the car moves around the track. If you get all 20 correct, you get a super awesome reward. 
But don't worry, if you miss some answers, you always have the chance to try them again at the end. When I'm all done and have 20 correct answers, I can click a button that says race. I'll get to play a super cool racing game for one minute. I can jump over obstacles and collect stars while I drive. Now I'll show you an area called spelling. Like the driving tests, the spelling section also opens up after lesson 40. The very first time you go into the spelling section, you will complete a placement test, very similar to the one you've just done for your lessons. The spelling placement test has 16 questions, and all you have to do is spell as many of the words as you can correctly. If you get two incorrect, the spelling placement test will end, and Reggie will know where to place you on your spelling journey. I've already done my spelling placement test, so my spelling section looks like this. The spelling lists are grouped by animal names. I'm on the fish list. All I have to do is click on the list that I'm working on. For me, it's list number 41. Let's check out a spelling lesson. We're given the instructions for our first activity right away. We can click on the arrow on the side to see how many activities each spelling lesson has. This looks just like our lesson section, doesn't it? We can see that each activity is locked until we complete the one before it. We can also scroll down to see how many activities this spelling lesson has. This one has nine activities. The final activity is the spelling test. Just like in the main lesson section, we earn eggs in our spelling lessons. Let's head back to the home page. Now I'm going to show you the final area of the top row called Storylands. Storylands is the last section to unlock. It only opens up after lesson 60, so it might take you some time to get there. Storylands is all about comprehension. That means understanding what we're reading. Let's check it out. Storylands looks very similar to our main lesson section. We follow the lessons on the map. The difference here is that everyone starts at Lesson 1 on Map 1 in Storylands. We can also see that this section has a theme. Storylands is all about royalty. Queens, kings, princes, princesses, knights, dragons, castles, and more. Let's click into a Storylands lesson. I'm on Lesson 5. Again, just like in our lessons and spelling sections, we're given the instructions right away, and we can click on the arrow on the side to see all the different activities in this lesson. This lesson has seven comprehension activities and ends with a quiz. Just like in the main lessons and spelling sections, we earn eggs for our hard work. Now that you know more about these four areas next to Reggie on the top row, you can try out the sections that are open to you. Remember, the Story Factory opens up after Lesson 10. The Driving Tests and Spelling Sections open after Lesson 40. And finally, Storylands opens after Lesson 60. If you have access to any of these four areas, you can explore them now. If they aren't open to you just yet, you can use this time to continue working on your lessons. Pause the video now to work on anything that's open to you on the top row. Story Factory, Driving Tests, Spelling, Storylands, or My Lessons.
excellent job working on those areas in the top row. If you were able to explore a few of these areas, think about which one was your favorite. Next, I'm going to show you some of the extra resources on the bottom row. First, let's look at the section called Play. This takes us to the Playroom. We can click on the different areas here for some super fun activities. I'm going to choose the musical instruments on the floor. This section is called the music mat. I can see there are four options to choose from on the music mat. Let's click on the drum. Now I can make my own music with these instruments. Cool! I use the orange and white back arrows to go back to the other areas of the playroom. That music game we played was just one example. There are hundreds of things to do here in the playroom. Now I'd like to show you the area called Songs next to Play. This takes us to the Music Cafe where we can watch and listen to all of the fun songs that we find in our Lessons section. We can use this little arrow to scroll through the options. When we find one that we like, we simply click on it. Let's choose one. That little ant is so cute. Now I want to skip over to the area called Puzzles. This takes us to Puzzle Park. On the left is the puzzle of the day. On the right is the Puzzle Gallery, where we can choose from tons of different puzzles to do. Let's go there. We can use the arrows at the bottom to scroll through the puzzle options. When we find one that we like, we click on it. Let's do the one called Blue Squares. It says, how many blue squares? We have to count them and then click on the answer. Say the answer with me. When the time runs out, the monkey friend will tell us our score and how many eggs we earned. Next time you play, you can try to beat your high score. Now we'll pause so you can explore the play, songs, and puzzle sections. Pause the video now to explore play, songs, and puzzles.
Next, I'll show you the section called Games. There are tons of super fun arcade games here, but there's a catch. Remember how you earn eggs when you do your main lessons, spelling lessons, storyland lessons, and puzzles? Here's one way you can spend those eggs. Each game here has a cost to play. When you hover over a game, the cost is shown. If you click on a game, you will be asked, this game will cost blank eggs to play. Would you like to play it? You can click the green button that says pay and play or the red button that says no thanks. Now I'm going to show you the plaza. The middle button on the bottom row which is a super fun place to spend your eggs. There are two main areas here. One to buy things for your house and one for clothes and accessories for your avatar. Let's go to the furniture store. We can see that there are many different areas to choose from, like kitchen and dining, bedroom, outdoors, even pets. The first section is called monthly specials, which is where we get deals on cool stuff, depending on the time of the year. Let's check that out. We can use the arrows to click through this magazine to see the different monthly specials. When we find something we like, we first check that we have enough eggs. If we do, we click on the price tag and then click the green button that says yes. Now this item can be added to my house. Let's go back to the plaza, but this time we'll go to the clothing shop. We can see that this shop for my avatar is organized the same way as the furniture shop. Let's click on hats. I can use the arrows to scroll through all of the hat options. I like this hat. I click on it and if I have enough eggs, I click buy. Then I click the green yes button. Now my avatar will be able to wear that hat. Now I'll show you how to decorate your house with the item you just purchased. From the home page, we click on the house icon. Your house will have three floors. To add the item I just bought, I click the plus button. Then I click on the item and find a place to put it. Super easy. You can even add pets to your house. To customize your avatar using the clothing and accessories you buy, all you have to do is click on your avatar at the top next to your name. On the left side, the orange buttons, we see all the options that are free. There are heads, hats, arms, legs, and many more that we can use at no cost. On the right, the green buttons, is where we find the items that we've purchased from the plaza. Remember I bought that hat? I'll put it on my avatar now. I just go to the second button that says hats and click the arrows. Once I'm satisfied with how my avatar looks, I just click the green save button underneath my name. Now that you know how to use your eggs to play arcade games and purchase furniture and accessories and how to decorate your house and avatar, you give it a try. Remember, on the bottom row, click games for the arcade games, click plaza to go to the house and avatar store, and click house to decorate your house. At the very top next to your name, click on your avatar to customize it. Pause the video now to use your eggs to play games, buy furniture or accessories in the plaza, decorate your house, or customize your avatar.
There are only a few more quick areas for me to show you. First, the section called Awards. When we click on Awards, we can see all the certificates that we've earned. Here's how you can earn a certificate. Remember how in the main lesson section, each map has 10 lessons? When you complete a map, you also do a map quiz to show what you've earned. Depending on how you do on that map quiz, you earn a bronze, silver, or gold certificate. This is where you can view those certificates and even print them off at school or at home to celebrate your learning. Next, I want to show you a button in the top left corner called My Program with the shooting stars. When we click here, we can easily see our progress in Reading Eggs. We can see which reading lesson we're on and how we're progressing in the spelling section and the driving tests. At the very bottom, we're given four suggestions of books to read. If we'd like to read them, we can click directly on them. One more button on the bottom row is called Critters with the egg icon. Do you remember that at the end of each lesson, a creature hatches from an egg? If you click on Critters, you can see all the creatures that you've hatched so far. Finally, the last button on the bottom row is called Buy with the waving hand. This is how you log out of the program. I hope you enjoyed learning and playing in Reading Eggs today. Your teacher will now have a package to send home with you, including a scavenger hunt to complete with your family. Enjoy and good luck on your journey of learning to read.